As previously reported on my platform, a woman by the name of Selena Powell, who has openly called herself a thought, recently gave birth to a baby a few months early than expected. She claims that the father of her baby is none other than Offset of the Migos. Offset of the Migos has denied that he knows this chick at all. He's saying, I don't know who this weirdo is. They went back and forth on Twitter earlier. If you want to see that exchange, please go to the previous video. But Cardi B and Offset are clearly not done with this chick who is creating a media uproar with media outlets reporting left and right that this chick might have a little Migo and also claiming that maybe Offset cheated on Cardi B one more time. I ain't getting into all that, but I do want to get into the responses by Cardi B and Offset. They're going in on Twitter right now. They're visibly upset by, at the very least, this chick lying, right? If it's, if it's ruling in their favor, if, if this chick is telling the truth, then maybe they're just trying to play cover up a little bit. Cardi B said, people are so miserable. They rather believe a lie just to talk about something. You will soon though, smiley face emojis. Offset said, you hoes is weak on mama, all of them. Offset said, my main focus is my music, my family, Cardi B, and the fans, everything else is noise. Have a blessed day. And then Cardi B posted a picture saying, this is bitch's favorite app, which is an application that can be downloaded in the Apple store that shows you can fake a text message thread with anyone you want to. Selena Powell, the thought in question, quote tweeted and said, I'm feeding your step baby right now, but once she's sleeping, I'll handle this tweet. She said, okay, Cardi B, this is my last time showing you this. Ain't no fake app, sis. She went on to show um, Cardi B a, a screen recording of some DM exchanges between her and reportedly Offset. The thought in question went on to address Cardi B saying, she quiet now. She said, y'all will know the truth soon. Yes, bitch, you will too. Cardi B, we can fight when you come September 8th or you're going to have Star Fight Me. Either way, I'll see you. And then somebody, a fan hitter, was like, don't fight Cardi, you will kill her baby. And then Selena said, ain't she doing July? She's like, she has like two months to recover. Um, the media outlet's picking this up and Selena's eating it all up. At the very least, the thought is getting some exposure. She said, I told her to pull up so I can beat her ass, get it straight. And then that insult to injury, Selena once more said, I'm done talking. They had the best lawyer in New York to serve me with a cease and desist letter. I wrote back, suck my dick, bitch, have him do a DNA test. I haven't heard one word back. If they have so much money, why can't they just get the security footage from the hotel or do the DNA test? That is all for now. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty.